These are the Jaywick Black Linears. These full nylon housing linears originally ran in a group buy on Yelboard for 25 cents a switch, and are a part of JWK's budget-oriented Jaywick line of switches. I'll be referring to these as JNLs, short for Jaywick Nylon Linears, so do not confuse them with the similar Jaywick switches. Full nylon housings plus a palm stem is a classic material composition that we've seen first with the original MX switch, the MX Black, but it has also appeared in many other switches like the SP Star Meteor White and of course the Lavender, which like the JNL is JWK manufactured. So it's quite interesting that these JNLs are less than half the price per switch of the Lavenders. How is this price achieved? Firstly, the JNLs are sourced directly from JWK without having to go through a middleman like Duroc. Secondly, according to a representative from JWK, they use a less costly material while retaining quality that is comparable to their more expensive switches. Let's put that to the test. Here's a sound comparison of the JNLs versus other popular full nylon housing switches, with all the switches being lubed and filmed the same way. And I threw an ink in there because I know people will ask. To my ear, the JNLs sound most similar to the Hyperglide MX Blacks, which was somewhat surprising to me, as I initially expected them to be similar to Lavenders. They're less muted than Lavenders while being slightly less clacky when compared to the Meteors. The wobble on these JNLs is up to recent JWK standards. In fact, these JNLs have perceivably less north-south stem wobble compared to my Lavenders. The housings are also extremely tight and do not need filming. Adding films actually makes them a bit difficult to close, but I filmed these anyway for testing consistency as well as sound. Regarding push feel, the factory lube job is quite consistent, and these are totally usable stock if you don't feel like lubing. Lubed, they are very nice to type on, but there is still some scratch evident, especially off axis. I would say that on average, the JNLs are notably smoother than the Hyperglide Blacks, while being slightly less smooth than the Lavenders and Meteors. And like all other switches, this will only improve after extended use. Overall, I would recommend these, especially at their price point of 25 cents. For my testing, they do sound somewhat similar to Hyperglide MX Blacks, while also being a bit smoother and having notably better housing tolerances. Although, don't buy these with the expectation that they're going to be as smooth as Lavenders or Alpacas. I do want to add a disclaimer that I am affiliated with Yelboard, and while I did buy the JNLs myself, they did provide me the hyperglides I used for testing. If I can, I'll be picking up more for sure, likely for Frank and switching. One thing I've already tried is using a kale black stem on these to make a pseudo black cherry pie for 51 cents a switch, which is less than a third of the price of a conventional BCP. In classic YouTuber fashion, I'm gonna give a name for a basic kale stem Frank and switch and call them Vanta Blacks because it sounds cool. Here's a quick sound test comparison of a Vanta Black versus a BCP. BCPs are still deeper, but the Vanta Blacks, not half bad. Finally, here's a full sound test comparison of stock versus fully tuned JNLs and a 67 light with no switch or case foam. Thanks for watching. Consider liking as well as subscribing. Got some exciting content coming up soon.